this is my car and right here is the RFID reader on the other side of the glass window here uh, I didn't do this too professionally it's held in there with drywall screws but you can see that when my hand comes in range I don't know if you heard that that's the electronic door locks operating there's a little LED here that I've programmed in so that I can see when it's activating Over here are the two additional wires I had to run into the panel. One of them is for power because this model car doesn't have a constant 12 volt source in the door panel. All the locks are computerized and they operate on 5 volts. The other cable actually goes to the back of the car where I have a second reader. The back window is tinted so you can barely see it, but I know exactly where it is. It's right there. There's also a little LED there on this side as well. So there's the reader there on the inside of the window. It's kind of just held on there with some silicone uh, adhesive. And there's the LED, and it goes back into the door panel here. And I would love to show you what's inside here, but unfortunately, uh, this thing's a huge pain in the ass to get off. There's actually a uh, cable that runs. There's a, there's a control unit inside the door that this and the LED connect to, and then that connects to a cable, which goes through one of these and actually it goes pretty discreetly. My friend ran it. Um, there you can kind of see it down in there. That blue cable. And it runs up to the front. And how it works is each, reeler, each controller operates a relay and the relays uh, switch in 300 and, or I'm sorry, switch in 220 ohms onto the uh, unlock leads, which is what the computer needs to detect that someone hit the unlock button. This car is too old to have keyless entry, so I can't tap into things like that.